This week's big move at the California Science Center is finally complete after being delayed by strong wind gusts. Engineers spent the night getting the Space Shuttle Endeavor's massive external fuel tank settled into its final upright position. NBC 4's Bailey Miller is there this morning to give you a first look at the work that was done overnight. Good morning, Bailey. Hey, good morning, John. I mean, this is such exciting news that happened overnight. You can see that external fuel tank right here behind me, and it is massive. This is exciting news for crews who have worked meticulously, and it is strenuous work. Everything needs to be done perfectly. You can take a look for yourself. Take a look at this video from overnight that we have. You can see the tank known as ET-97 being lowered into its vertical position slowly. The reason for that is it's 154 feet long, weighing 65,000 pounds. This fuel tank is a part of the Space Shuttle Endeavor and crews at the Science Center had planned to lift the tank late Thursday night, but the operation was delayed by winds. An inch makes a huge difference in these moves and would be like a huge piece of equipment. Uh, we're doing it outside, which meant that wind makes a major difference when you've got something as big as this tank hanging um, uh, uh, on a crane. Uh, any wind will start getting it swinging and then you can't control it and get it in this fine places like this. So we made the decision that it would be better to just um, take the day and come back tonight and get it done. I think it was the right decision when you see it all going well tonight. There you go. And now more on that complex process. The CEO of the California Science Center, who you just listened to, says this is the first time this kind of feat has been accomplished outside of a NASA facility. And the planning for this has been in the works for many, many years. Now, the shuttle launch display will be the centerpiece of a 200,000 square foot Samuel Ocean Air and Space Center. So as we would know right now, you can see it. It's been placed into its vertical position. But according to officials here, it may need to be lifted one more time and shift into its completely permanent situation. So we'll be watching for that. Crews are out here working. They've been around here working around the clock. Sometimes we can hear them yelling. We can hear the tapping, of course. I mean, it's incredible to see in person. There's still no word yet right now on an opening day for this center, but it's going to be very exciting when it does open. Reporting live here, I'm Bailey Miller. I'll send it back to you. Yeah, Bailey, I was going to say, it looked like it'd be really cool to be there in person to see all that. And it's wild to think, too, that the way they put that in, they have to build the building around it to make Make that work. It's incredible. And I mean, just the sheer size of this, you may be able to see it just from watching, but to see it in person and to know what these crews had to do to get things right. I mean, you can't even be off by an inch with something like this. Everything needs to be so precise. So that's why it's also such a big feat too. Exciting to watch it all happen. Thanks, Bailey. We're going to see you again in a bit. Mm -hmm.